Hi folks, Glyn here with a little Photoshop tip for you. But before we get on to it, just one question. How many of you out there have done some retouching in Photoshop, been really pleased with the kind of finished result that you've got, you've saved it, but then later on you wanted to kind of redo those steps on another picture, but you just can't seem to get it to look the same? Well, if you're anything like me, that's probably most of you. But did you know that Photoshop can record every single step that you do to a picture, tell you all the steps, all the settings, the whole lot, and give you a printed copy of that so that later on you can do the, all those steps again and produce the same kind of result. Well, Photoshop can do that. I know it sounds too good to be true, but it's been around in Photoshop for a while, so uh, let me just show you how you can do that. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop, and this is nothing new. It's been around in Photoshop since I think version 5, but it's something that I'm doing a lot more recently so that I can retrace all the steps that I do in a certain edit so that if I want to replicate that later on, I've got a written record so I know every little stage that I went through and what settings I used in each of those stages. So here's how we make Photoshop record this written copy for us. Now I'm using a Mac, but generally we want to go to the Preferences in Photoshop, and under the general tab. Now when we go to the general tab at the bottom we have a section called history log. Now if we put a tick where it says history log it open, opens up some options for us. Now I generally have it on text file because I want Photoshop to, to write a text file for me with all these steps in it. And then I'll click on choose and this is where I want Photoshop to record all those steps. Um, so I'm going to be on my desktop and I'll give it a name of uh, editing log something as simple as that and we'll click save and then the last thing I do always where it says edit log items at the bottom you've got a choice of either sessions only concise or detailed now I want Photoshop to tell me every single little thing it did so I'll just leave it set to detailed and click OK so now what I've basically asked Photoshop to do is to, to remember everything I'm doing and then when I've saved this picture and maybe closed it, Photoshop will automatically produce a written record of every little thing that I did, which is really helpful for later on. So let's just give you an idea of how this works. So I've got this picture open on my desktop now and I'll just do a few steps, things that I wouldn't necessarily do, but it's just so that it's got something to record. So I don't know, let's, uh, let's duplicate that uh, original layer. Uh, I don't know, let's create a, a oh, we'll just move that over a little bit. Let's uh, create a black and white adjustment and we'll lower the opacity down to whatever. Uh, we'll create a combined layer and then, whoops, can create a combined layer and then we'll just add a little bit of contrast using an unsharp mask filter with settings of say 20 in that one and 50 in that one and click OK. And the last thing we'll do is we'll just flatten it. Flatten the image and save it and I'll just save this onto the desktop give it a name call it chained put it onto the desktop just there and click save there we go so once I've done that and I've closed it if I now go back to my desktop we can see on there there is a text file that's been placed now this is where Photoshop has has done its magic and it's made a, a written record of every single little thing that I've done in Photoshop from duplicating the background layer I could have, uh, it's, it's recorded where I've made the changes in the, the back black and white adjustment, the opacity changes, absolutely every single thing's in here. So we can see, look, here where it says about the black and white adjustment and all the settings on each of the individual colors is in there. Where I've changed the opacity, it tells me I went down to 51%. Uh, when I've done the contrast using the unsharp mask filter, all the settings are in there where it says amount of 20, radius of 50. So Photoshop has been really kind to me and made a complete and utter total record of everything that I did so that later on I can then replicate it so that's something that I'm doing a lot of these days like I said so when it comes to workshops I can then go back over certain techniques and, and reproduce the results and it's also something that maybe you might want to do if you go to a workshop and then you're following through some steps just set Photoshop to record so that you've got a written record of every single little thing that you did when you're at the workshop for remembering it later on so there you go it's another little tool to the box uh, some of the little handy thing that you could maybe use occasionally so uh, there you go I shall see you next time